Today, we are talking about the new weapons and booster from the Viper Commando Warbond. Feel free to share your thoughts about the new Warbond in the comments. Starting off with the AR-23A Liberator Carbine. This gun has the fastest fire rate of the assault rifles, but its recoil will have a bounce all over the place if you were to hold down the trigger. Against bugs, this isn't that much of an issue, since they tend to get in your face and you can just spray bullets into them. When facing off with the bots, I found it helpful to switch to burst fire to mitigate that recoil issue. No scope options highlight that this gun wasn't meant for long range engagements and better suited for close card or combat. Overall, a solid rifle, but I believe the updated AR-61 tenderizer beats out this weapon with its recent damage buff, scope options, and low recoil. Moving on to the SG-22 Bushwhacker. This is an interesting weapon idea, but in practice a poor choice as a sidearm. The gun does good damage, but the three round limit is frustrating. Even its claim to fame of firing all the rounds at once only really works if you have the barrel in the mouth of a baddie. This gun seems more like a gimmick than a viable option, and I don't recommend it. The K2 throwing knife surprised me. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. I really like the stagger and knockback that occurs when you connect with the knife. There were a couple of times where an enemy would be in my face and I was able to create distance by throwing a knife into theirs. A move that would have gotten me killed if I tried to grenade. Unfortunately, you're not able to pick knives back up after throwing them, which is a huge miss, but hopefully will be added in the future. It just seems like an obvious addition to help justify leaving grenades behind. With that being said, you do get a good amount with eight knives and only need one ammo box to fully refill them. The knives also have decent armor penetration. I was happy with what I was able to stick this knife into from devastators to charger legs. The throw knife might not be the new default. I still prefer the AOE and utility of a grenade, but it is a fun option if you want to try something different. The experimental fusion booster is pretty nice, giving a boost of speed and damage reduction for a short period of time after using a stim pack. It has gotten me out of some tough spots and I also enjoy the visual effects that occur. Sometimes I just use it just so I can quickly get across the map and rejoin the team because the speed boost is significant. I think it's a nice addition to the booster roster and one that we'll probably see get a lot of playtime. 